when you wake up every morning, your prayer should be, Father Lord, may this terrible government favor me. This terrible government is about to favor some people and it's about to push some people back to the village. Central Bank. Central Bank. Yemi Kadosu. Yemi Yemi Kadosu. I. Some people are about to go back to the village. If I'm saying you put I don't know what I'm saying. Yemi Kadosu is one of the problems that this country and this government is having. I go prove and give one. Oh, I have a monetary policy. Monetary policy. Eh. Now, CBN, they manage that one. Now, CBN don't come get their monetary policy committee meeting. And they don't eh, get some kind of decisions where they take. And you go like here, eh, you go like here, you go like here, you go like, and I wait for my mom. You go like here, you didn't hear me, but eh, I won't play on now one video. And I go see one young man, he they explain some of the decisions where this monetary policy committee take in their last meeting. Just even if you don't understand the English, follow through. When we come back, I go explain that English what you want here now. I go explain and give owner so that you go understand how some people go then go back village and how some people might remain in business. Ongwa, watch this video. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Nemeka Berry. I just um, saw the news flash on the decision of the um, MPC. Um, or the central bank MPC, and uh, it's shocking at uh, the the steps they've taken um, with the monetary policy rate and the cash um, reserve rate. NPR at 22.5 percent and N uh, cash reserve ratio at 45 percent will not achieve um, the medium to long term plan that these guys desire. Let me tell us what will happen. For, both, for, for the benefit of the, those who may not be so vast on financial matters, monetary policy rate is the rate, discounted rate of the CB, in fact, the, of the banker to banker, the Central Bank of Nigeria. It's actually the base rate. What it simply means at NPR, that is the, 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 the base rate of the Central Bank of Nigeria at 22.5%. That simply means any bank will now build upon that. In their lending decisions to customers and that simply means if you already have a loan with a bank that is going at 30 percent or 25 percent the bank will have to adjust the rate by about 600 basis points to accommodate the 400 basis point jacket by the central bank of nigeria this is not good for productivity this is not good for manufacturing this is not good for honest entrepreneurship in the in the in the economy this is going to sh sh send shock waves to honest um, enterprises and uh, entrepreneurs. Now, cash reserve requirement at 45%. Uh, if they want to, you know, draw, take out liquidity from the economy as much as possible. You see, there is something these guys don't understand. You see, these policies that they put in place will have worked. It's a neoliberal, classical economic theory that will have worked in economies where 95 to 98 percent of economic activities are captured in the former sector and where it is believed that demand and the supply of the dollar or any commodity is determined by the force of demand and supply on less transactions nigeria does not meet some of the assumptions that drive some of this economic theory that they are putting in place by the central bank of nigeria and i will explain this well, basically what they've done is to put the rate at the level that foreign portfolio investors that will inflow in dollars to buy those um, the CBN treasury bills or to buy the CBN bonds and all the rest of them or listed circuit or whatever. Now let me tell you what will happen. Basically what they have done, they are not going to attract any foreign direct investor. Well, basically the hot monies will flow into this economy. There are people in Japan, in other places that can take money from banks in their country at even less than one percent or one percent all they will need to do is bring in the dollar do a swap with the central bank of nigeria in such a way they will tell the central bank hey, i'm bringing my dollar today at this rate in the next three months i'm going to take back or six months i'm going to take back my dollar at social rate 
a bond and then they will pay premium for it and the CBN takes that dollar give them nada they buy the bonds or they buy the TBs six months they exit now while they are here within that six months CBN can use their dollar to play in the market to intervene like they just did by giving money to BDCs this is just like giving Panadol for somebody that has headache the headache is not the symptom the person is suffering from a dangerous cancerous growth that is destroying him rather than take away the cancerous growth perform surgical operations to remove the tumor you are busy giving him panadol to douse the symptoms of the headache which is the, the, the headache which is the symptom i don't understand what these guys are up to what they have done in one first swoop is to totally destroy they, are, they just want to see the truth is unique abuses instruments will not work basically what will happen there will be so much maybe one to two billion one billion or two billion dollar dollar inflow by foreign portfolio investors and now we use it to show up the dollar to naira and maybe there may be stability around the one thousand five hundred the naira to one dollar band over the next one week and people will clap then afterward when they think mature when the people take back their dollar this what we need to do is to boost the supply side of the dollar 90 percent of this problem are from the physical side there is something unique at those and those are the central bank of nigeria are not seeing is that they are seeing it and, and they pussyfooting about it or playing you know see nothing say nothing hear nothing or they are just trying to deceive themselves and deceive the rest of nigeria and this is it. this is the truth you hear them the summary of everything where you hear for there. Now see, number one. And we have monetary policy rates. And that one, they control loans. You follow the control loans. And not to be economic person, but it loans. They don't move from 18 point something percent to 22 point something percent as you hear inside that video. What did that one mean? You now will get loan inside bank. <laughs> Your loan, your interest is about to go up. Okay, you don't know. They don't increase your interest now. If we are paying one naira before, if they pay like ten naira now, banks are going to capitalize on this hike in interest to deal with some people. Uh -huh. So you will get loan. Package yourself well loan because which they go pay for loan now. You know go believer. The interesting part now, now see. Yeah, for another thing, you get another way they call C R R. They say now, uh, uh, cash retain rates. They can carry that one, enter 45%. Uh -huh. So you go carry your money now, come back. Uh -huh. You're going to do like something like treasury bill. As you hear inside that video, you're going to do like something like treasury bill. At the end of the day, they will give you your money, still give you your interest. And the interest that they won't give you, it don't go up. So they want to absorb dollars. They won't collect foreign coins. They want to absorb the dollars into the system. You understand? So that they can control this bit in the way Naira they collect uh, they collect on top a uh, dollar. Now, when I hear what that man talk, he said, this thing now we won't happen. Now, as he won't take care for some people now. Some of our brothers and sisters where they are where, where they are abroad that have access to dollars and that have access to loan. They go go collect the loan in dollars, come back. Say CB a long one now. This on our cash return rates, we're on a center forty five percent. We are interested. This is our one million dollar, two million dollar, five million dollars. We are bringing it as treasury bill, so that maybe it go there with now for six months or one year. Uh -huh. Then what will be the rate when I will give us? The fee no collect that forty five percent. What they talk? The fee because now this economy, this CBN, AI open clearly. They won't collect dollar. They won't mobilize dollars into the system, so they can even negotiate for fifty percent. And yet, how they will give them? You they hear with now they talk. Uh -huh. So. That their money now, where they carry come, maybe in six months' time or one year, they go still move their money come out with all the interest with CB and don't nakana on top of them 45% and above. Whew. They will carry a worker come out this country. That money now you want to retain. Those that are outside will not as smart you. Bring in that dollar at the end of the day, pack more dollars out of the system. is 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 okay in the head. Central Bank Governor, are you in any way okay? Or when they're not picking buttons somewhere, some people are not picking their buttons somewhere. Oh, oh, hear me? Some people are pressing this guy like a calculator, and we do not know. You make a do so. 
might just be worse than MFL. MFL is TIFO. But you can also go use policies. You go use policies of CBA. Thief money. Kill this country, finish. You, you now will be a legitimate businessman. You go hardly survive business inside this country. You will call a loan. They're going to support your business. Eh? This time around, Ega are no there. Ega are no there. The movement now should be. You can also must go. Oh, yeah, now my honey. You don't know what they do. Oh, 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 that they hear me. Congratulations to those that will enjoy with these new policies. Congrats. Oh. But for those for those of you that your interest rates now, you know we collect from back, the interest rate don't go up. Just they pack your bags once more to go back village. If you don't get the money to pay that high interest. Pack your bags, arrange it. Village is calling. Our brothers in the diaspora bringing in their dollars. Come and make money. Oh, this is time to make money. Yemi Kaloso has made the grand fertile. <laughs> I'm this see too much. I'll go see Ona later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why innocent vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent vehicles, the pride of African roads.